Today, we embark on a new journey to become one of the most ruthless sniper teams in DayZ, taking on the many groups that dominate this server, all while remaining hidden in our secret sniper hideout. Alright, I'm finally in the server and it's a fresh wipe. Everything is gone and everyone has to start from nothing. As for my plan, well, I'm teaming up with my good friend Tommy and we're going to become a sniper team. We're going to essentially be sniper only, build a little hidden sniper hideout and maybe get some kind of revenge or do a small raid, uh, we'll just see. Um, to make things harder though, we've only got 72 hours to play. 72 hours isn't really a long time, so we need it to be fast and efficient. And so I went on the hunt for some oh, gear. Oh yes, here we go. Gun. First gun of the wipe. It's not a sniper, but it'll get us started. Oh, there we go. There's our first sniper, though. M24. Not bad, but no scope. Now to find a scope and some ammo. Okay, Swarog. I didn't really expect to end up here, but here we are. And honestly, I really don't think I'm going to be the first person here. Zombie aggro. Kill the guy. I need to look fast. Give me the sniper. Okay, we're out of here. I'm dipping. You might have teammates. did have a DVL though, which is a suppressed sniper. It's not really very good, but it does sell for a lot. So maybe we go to Trader with this and meet Tommy. With some decent gear acquired, I headed off to the Trader to meet up with Tommy. But before we go any further with this video, let me tell you about today's sponsor. Raid Shadow Legends, the sponsor of today's video, is a tactical RPG with over 800 unique champions, incredible visuals, and intense PvE and PvP content. Sounds good, right? Well, let me tell you more. With Halloween coming up, now's a great time to download the game. You'll find a selection of Halloween champions, a few nicer to look at than others. Madame Ceres has a great visual design, Sifi the Lost Bride has an interesting lore behind her character, and Little Miss Anne, well, just look at it. There's a bunch more Halloween themed champions to choose from along with the other 800 plus characters, so why not at least check them out. Further this Halloween there will be treats and tricks rewarded through the raid yard. Download the game now, copy and paste your player ID and then head over to raidyard.plarium.com from October 15th to November 10th to explore the haunted graveyard where you can gain in-game items as well as real life prizes from epic and legendary champions to Amazon gift cards with a total value of $20,000. On top of this, if you are an existing raid player, you can also head over to the raid yard where you will find a special promo code that you can earn a small in-game gift. Consider it raid's Halloween treat to you. So don't wait any longer, download the game now using my link in the description or scan the QR code on screen for some insane bonuses, like epic champion Talia, a skill tome and XP booster. When you're in, come find me under the name Excluge, and if you're fast enough, you can join my clan. Now back with our story, we were heading to the trader to meet up with Tommy for the very first time. All right, I'm at the trader. All right, where are you, Tommy? There he is, the man of the hour. Yo, yo, yo! You look like you're ready to roll. You got the booty hat. Got the bandana, got the sidearm pistol. Oh, he's got a golden deagle. No, you're not having it. I don't want it. We should sell it. We need to get sniper outfits. Now that me and Tommy were together, it was time to focus on the mission. And so we started selling everything we had in order to buy some stuff we needed. So I'm literally now M24 only. This would include a full camouflage outfit in order to help us blend in, as well as some ammo supplies and food supplies. And when we felt comfortable, we left the trader to go on the hunt for some players. 
and what better way to find players than gain a vantage point on one of the tallest buildings on this map. Yeah bro, you take these and like kind of be my scout I guess considering you haven't got a scope. See if we can see anyone. The idea behind sitting up here was to see if we could spot some players who were hopefully trying to build a base. And if we could kill them, well then we could get the head start we needed. I see someone. Was that a zombie or a player? That's a player, that's a player. Oh, that was well low. Hit him. Damn it, dude. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to take out that first player, and for the next while, the surrounding area felt a little dead. But in DayZ, things can change very quickly. Oh, got the orange brick. You shoot first. I can't even see that. Two far. up the hill, two up the hill. See them? Yeah, I can't even see that far, Bubba. Running away from it. Oh, wait, no, one's at the top of the hill. <laughs> Dead! Oh no my way. god, what a shot! We have to push, we have to push. Are you shooting? Yeah, that was me, yeah. Dark Wanderer. Got an M1 Grand. Ooh. The guy's teammate managed to run away, but we managed to get this guy's body and it had a few things. Before long, we were back on top of our building, waiting for our next victim. Which didn't take long at all. I see him, I see him. Far side in the car park. Yeah, I thought, yeah. Is that our guy? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I missed. Nice. No, no, no. Leg broke, leg broke, leg broke. Good shot, Tommy. A poor guy. <laughs> poor guy. <That's> <laughs> poor guy. Did you full kill him? Uh, I'm going to be honest, my, my crosshair is bigger than his actual body. He's that far away from me. From my eyesight, so... <laughs> It's full dead, full dead. Yeah. Nice shot, bro. Nice shot. This guy was just in the wrong place at the wrong time, but he gave us a decent amount of stuff to put towards selling at the trader. Well, it's some sellables. Well, get them gloves on, mate. But it wouldn't be enough for the starter base we needed. That's when a King of the Hill popped up and we were interested. Survivor cam. Should we go for that? It's getting foggy and it's rainy, we can't really see much up here. Or is it? Um, uh, let's see. That's not too bad. It could be worse. Okay, it is foggy. Oh yeah, it's not being capped. Okay. Just don't push the crate straight away, okay? Okay. Charcoal, that's good. Not bad, not bad! I think that might be enough for a starter base. I think so. Got a green key card. Maritain Guardhouse. Isn't that on the way back to Trader? Yeah, it is. Okay, is this the key card? Yeah, it's in here, mate. It's not my number. Okay, golden AK. Ooh! Another charcoal. That sells for a good amount. Of Alright, we can take these guns to sell. Alright, let's get out of here before someone comes. Yeah, go, 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 go. 
With a successful King of the Hill and key card under our belt, we headed over to the trader to see if we could get the things we needed to start our sniper hideout. Bro, there's so many people. Trader, man. Alright, let's sell up Tommy, see how much money we get, and then buy what we need to get a start based on. Alright, I got 50k. Oh my god. Yeah. That is crazy. But yeah, let me get a plot pool. Workbench. Wood shed. And a code lock. Medium case kit, will that do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Right, I got everything for a starter base in my backpack. I got some storage and I got all the tools we're gonna need to build. Oh, perfect. Alright, let's go find somewhere. With us now obtaining everything we needed to get our first little base down, all we had to do was find somewhere to build. Oh, <gasps> dude, look at that tree! Like, look at that one with all the branches coming out of it. Oh, yeah. Dude, this tree here with, like, the branches coming off, it's kind of cool. Yeah, if I put if we put a square in that tree, like up a bit, yeah. it could work, right? Yeah. Yeah, I say we go for this this tree right here. With a base location chosen, all we had to do was claim it with the plot pole and then place our very own shed. That way we could store away loot and be somewhat safe. Okay, we'll put the workbench there. And we'll put our little medium case right here. It really wasn't much at the moment, but before long, we would have an entire sniper hideout. After taking a very short break, we came back to the welcome of some shots nearby. Oh, I'm going for that. Oh, I see them, I see them. They're at a base, fortress building. Back at the door now. <laughs> Dead. Dead, nice shot. Dead. And although the shots only took us to one guy, it was a nice little warm up to get us back into the action. Uh, Doug. No way. And after getting some nice loot from the body, we would depot in base before hey, heading out to Swarog military base once again, but this time for another King of the Hill. It's 0% captured. Surely someone goes for this. Well, as it turned out, no one actually did come for this event, except for a helicopter which floated nearby, but no one actually pushed us. So this event was free for the taking once again, and the loot we got was good, including a key card, which when we got back to base, we would go and do as an opportunity to get some more gear. Rodzanica camo building. Very poor, very poor. Not horrendous though. Alright, let's go back to base. We've got enough now to like buy more storage and everything, so we're doing alright. After doing the key card, we would head back to base. And it was here that I would gather all the valuables in order to do a trader run. Ready, Tommy? Yeah. It was at the trader that we would sell up everything and use the money to essentially buy anything we needed to start our sniper hideout. Alright, I got everything we need to start our little hideout base. Okay, 1.6 to base. Alright, we're gonna build in this tree. When we got back to base from the trader, we made a quick depot before grabbing our hatchets 
getting to work cutting down trees in order to start building our sniper hideout up in the tree. We need to start with a floor, right? Yep. So we should be able to place this up here somewhere. It's good, yeah, that's, that so that's the best thing that might be perfect, oh my years. god. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. Right, so we need stairs going up now. That works, right? Oh, Tommy, look at us. Right, I think we need one more floor going out this way. Bro, this is sick. Progress on the base had been made, but we were far from finished. We needed to add all the walls and get the first level complete so that we could move in. Yeah, I think I want to put a window, two walls and a floor, so we need quite a bit more building done. Building this much meant we were tearing through our tools incredibly fast, so another trade of rum was on the table. I would need to buy hand saws, hatchets and sharpening stones if we wanted to be able to move into our base before logging off for the night. After obtaining the bare minimum we would need to complete the base, I left the trader to head back home, where a surprise was waiting for us. Dude, you cannot see our base at all. It's so hidden, you cannot see it. There's a guy in our base, Tommy, there's a guy in our base! Where? Outside! At the shed. Multiple! Three! Lewis, I'm fighting them. Yeah, yeah. One dead. No, he's knocked out. Oh, other one above, above the base to the right. To Another the right. pushing me, pushing me, pushing me. The other one's bandaging. Fall dead, fall dead, fall dead. Nice, nice, nice. We're still getting raided. Oh, at the front again, at the front. Fall dead, you fall you dead, fall dead. One more, one more somewhere. Oh, I'm getting shot at Tommy. You need to push out, push out, push out. Push out, yeah. Yep. He's on the uh, right side on the rock somewhere. Okay. I see him. Where, where, where? Oh, yeah, yeah, I see him. Dead. Nice, good kill. I've watched that. Okay, one body's on me. This guy's name was Tipsy. Eh? Key card. They were off to do a key card. With a three man squad on our doorstep, we needed to be faster. We needed our base complete, and we needed that extra security. And then if we just do that, no one can get in. They can see in, but they can't get With in. With the base complete and secure, we removed all the storage from our shed, moved it into the treehouse, and then it was time to call it for a night. Alright bro, I think we're oh, done for the day. Good night, God bless, and I'm going to bed. <laughs> good night. The only question remaining was would Tipsy and his friends return? Okay. Day two.
two and oh no <laughs> we're raided no way oh that sucks that really sucks Okay, I've logged out with everything I need so to rebuild, so I just need to go to Trader to get a code lock. Fortunately, I had logged out the previous night with everything we needed to rebuild in the event of an offline raid. And boy oh boy, was that a good call as it turned out. But we were still missing a code lock in order to resecure the base, so another Trader run was needed. Luckily, we still had the shed placed so I could depot our valuables inside in order to make a risk-free trip to the trader. Alright, back at the trader. Just gotta get a code lock and a toolbox. Charcoal. Okay, I think I've got everything we need to rebuild. Let's get back to base. This time on the way home, I would not have anyone waiting for us and could depot inside the shed before making progress towards re-securing our base. Woodgar's door, craft. Oh, thank God. Okay, we're sealed. Before I continued with the morning, I had another door, before picking up a keycard, which I wanted to do before Tommy got online. Come on, come on. Come on game, come on, we're about to do it. Ooh, that's good. Go, 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 go! Just get me out of here, man. Oh, I hate doing that stuff solo, man. On the way home, I would also be fortunate enough to find a heli crash. M1 ISO calm. Suppressor. That's alright. And although I didn't get too much, I returned to base safely and waited out the night for Tommy's return. Hello. Hello there. It was from here that me and Tommy would head into Nadbor in search of some building tools. But we got a little distracted. Car driving on the road, car driving at me. Where, 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 where? On me right now. Coming. I see, I see, I see. <gasps> oh, the front window's gone, front window's gone. Where are they driving to? Nadbor Mill. Don't know where they've gone. Oh, they've stopped. They're out. Shit, okay. I'm dead here, probably. I'm running. They're actually so geared. Yeah, one's on the left. Behind, they're behind them. Oh. Me, me, me. Yeah. I hit him. Okay, nice, nice. We have lost sight. He's behind the shed. I've hit him. Yeah, yeah. He's on con. Finish. One full dead, full dead, full dead. Go, 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 perfect, perfect. How many were in the car? I don't know. I, at least I, two. I'm dead. I don't. That was in front of me. Just run back. But I'm trying to flank around here. Get eyes on the truck from a different angle. Okay, yeah, yeah. Truck's clear, I think. <laughs> One dead on the car. With Tommy dead and me low on ammo, and more and more people getting involved with this fight, we had to make a decision if this was even worth it anymore. We had killed a few, but for every one we killed, there seemed to be two more. So I pulled back to make a new decision. Should I should I just dip out of this fight? Well, I'm one and a half away. It's your call though. I got a gun as well. Fight this fight, uh, I would. Armor. They know they haven't killed a suppressed sniper yet, you know? There's so many other shots here now too, like there's just so many third parties. I think it might be worth like just leaving this fight. We got a few nice kills. With the decision made to pull out of this fight, I returned to the base to save my gear set. 
It was here I would meet back up with Tommy along with our third teammate Edwin and make the decision to push a King of the Hill to see if we could get some new loot that way. Sarnawick Scrapyard, where's that? A vehicle stashed there too. <gasps> That's close! We should go for that. Someone's capping it. See it, team percent. Comes, comes. Yeah, he's so kitted. He knows I'm in there now. Go, go, go. He's hit once, I'm hit once. He might be running out. Pushing he's dead. Nice! Okay, guy on the cap point still. Yeah, yeah, pushing, pushing, pushing. Pushing us. On me somewhere. There he is, he's on the, he's on the left somewhere. Hit him Pushing once, out. hit him once, Pushing on con, out. on con, on con. Finish him, nice. finish him. Full dead, full dead, full dead. I'm dead, I'm dead. Left. I no scoped him, he's dead. Get in the building, maybe loose now. Hold on. I'll check if this guy's dead. Yeah, this guy's dead as well. After clearing the king of the hill of the current occupants, we grabbed all the gear we could before making a small stash nearby. It was going back to cap it that we ran into issues. He broke my leg though. Get in. Get in. Get oh. oh, more suppressed shots, bro. We need to get. We need to move. He had a raid, but I got no damage. Oh, get that. Over. Get that. I can't grab anything right now. I've got, I've got the raid, I've got the raid. What do we do? What do we do? Is that. Can you walk on it? Oh my god. I, oh my goodness, bro. I need morphine or something. We have so many shots to the point where it was freezing my game, we decided to pull out of this fight. I had a broken leg, so it was a losing battle. It was on the way back to base that we would have our first encounter with our neighbors. Oh, behind me. Oh. Two guys two, on, two, me two, right two, two. on me right now. On me right now. Right on me. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. Straight to Edwin. Need help. Yeah, right on me. me. Dead headshot. One dead. Nice, nice, nice. Oh my god, that was disgusting. Don't see the other. I'm dead. On Edwin, on Edwin. <laughs> dead, 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 dead. That was so laggy, but. I... Is there another? Not that I know. All dead. That has to be the guys that live here. This guy didn't really have much. I am Lil Zay. Remember these names because, well, they're quite important later on. Don't know who these guys are. I think they might live in the shed though. At the time, this encounter didn't mean much to us. But later, these guys would make a grave mistake and we would take full advantage. In the meantime though, we had a lot of loot to depot. And it was during this process of putting the loot away that we heard the beautiful sound of the most feared sniper on the server. Let's go. Oh, that's a Shay or a Barret or something. We have to go for that. Go, 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 go. There it is. There it is. He's in the field right now. I see him. It's off to the right. Yeah, I see him. I see him. He's on his own. No, there's one more. There's two. Uh, car, car, car! The, double bar it, double bar it. Oh, I see him, I see him. On the hill. I'm going for the kill. Yeah, he's still still. I hit him, you I hit, hit, hit me. He's on con! Full dead, full dead! Nice! Okay, one more, one more. Where's the other one? There was one more. Are we pushing up there, Edwin? Push it, I'd push it, I'd push it. Let's do okay, it. let's do it, bro, let's do it. I'm coming down. I'm gonna have to follow you, because I didn't see it. No. We're gonna be so in the open here. Where? Oh. I'm getting shot at. Just direct me, just direct me. Where, way further left, way further left, please. One minute, I've, I've got a <laughs> shot by a He's in the base. You close the door? I hear it, I hear it, I hear it. Tommy, don't go, or 
Oh, Oops. car coming, car coming. Straight for us. I got the bar, I got the bar. He's coming straight for us, guys. Just run, just run. Just run, just run, just run. Guy behind you, guy behind you, there's no nobody. His leg broke me, leg broke me. D D Edwin, take this and run. Edwin, just take this and run. Quick, 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 carry quick. You, bro you broke his leg, Lewis. No way. I'm broke as well. You need to kill him. I've got a splint. I've got a splint. Fix my leg. He's dead. I've got him. Nice, got him. nice, nice. I got him. Call me, you're a legend. No way. 600 meter shot and I got him. They're both dead up there. He's, you, you broke his leg, Lewis. No way. I think Edward just, got his leg. Yeah, I took a few. I took a few shots. Yeah. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. Right, I'm back on this body. I'm back on this body. He had a jug. There's another guy here. Car on me. Car on me. No, I'm dead. I just got smacked, bro. Just get out of there with that barret. I may have died, but we got one barret out of that fight. And that's all we would need to become one of the most powerful snipers on the server. With it safely secured inside our base, we had nothing to lose. And Tommy was still working his magic. You might be jumping out, Lewis. You might be jumping out. Watch out, Lewis. He's dead. No, he's not. I hit him again. He might be dead. He's dead. He's dead. He had a jug. Well, there will be more guns in there. There's nothing on the car. I'm going for the bodies. Wait, this pouch just has so much in it. Yeah, wait, my body had a SR-25 and stuff on it. Where's that gone? Nothing in the car. That is why you should never give up in day Z. We had just won a fight that we should never have won, and although we only got one out of the two Barrett's, it was still a massive success. We would take the car back to base, and it would become useful for a trader run later on. Dude, get me in the base, get me in the base. Oh my god. Dude, I'm so loaded. Bloody hell, man. After winning this much gear from a clan, it was only right that we upgrade the base in case they followed us home. We could not risk an online raid as our base was still fairly weak. This is gonna look good. Ooh, look at that view. I have a cool idea. I have a sick idea. Ooh, that's cool. That's perfect. Then we have like a little peek outside. Oh, that's nice. This looks good. Yeah. Oh, that's fucking perfect, bro. It works. And just like that, the base was basically complete. But to end the night, we decided to do a few of the key cards we had collected through the day. 
and use the loot that we got to head to the trader. That way we could buy all the extras we would need for the base to be fully complete and then I would be happy to log off. Just get another, get a small case kit. this little small case here. After getting back to the base from the trader, I placed down all the extras we had purchased, before crafting and placing some extra doors for extra security and moving all the loot upstairs. Well, day three. Our final day, but one of the most disastrous starts. We would continuously die over and over, and be sent back to the coast over and over. I'm dead. Being sent back to the coast like this wasn't exactly the best for morale when we were starting out for the first time on day three. The last two days had been extremely good, and well, this was just getting us a little bit down. I'm I'm dead. If I'm being brutally honest, I was considering quitting. We had basically achieved everything we wanted to this wipe, apart from a raid. And to be honest, I couldn't see us doing a raid within the time left we had. But that would all change when a King of the Hill spawned at Nadbor military base. Uh, vehicle? I look up Billy. I don't see it. Oh yeah, I see it. It's uh, it's quite low. Oh, they're circling the mission. Could be a clan here. All right, we need to get a little closer now. Let's see what the percentage is on. Eighty-two. It's definitely a clan, Captain. It has to be our group. But if we can just fucking swoop in and get the crate, that'd be so good. Ellie's back. Hey, Ellie black. Yeah, yeah. Ellie's floating. We should try and make our way in now, bro. Yeah, rush it. Okay, we gotta keep cover from the helicopter. Oh! Where? He's dead. Nice. Geared? Yeah. Full black suit. With the King of the Hill now captured, we had to make our move. We had already killed one guy and with the amount of shots going on, we knew there was multiple groups here. If we played our cards right, we could swoop in and take the loot along with the helicopter that spawned in the middle. One guy hit once. Where at? Where at? Uh, he's on. He was on a body down, down there, Lewis. Down left. He's hit once. Headshot. He's really weak. Guy in HQ. Dead. Yeah. Nice. Right. I saw him. Oh. Behind. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Behind. 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 In the field. He's hit, hit again. Hit again in the field. Nice. We killed him. Yeah. That's the one I headshot. That's oh, the one I headshot. Someone shot, killed yeah. him. Who killed someone him? Someone killed him. Edwin. He's no. Comes, Edwin. On Edwin. On me. Think. On me. Dead, 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 dead. I killed him. Nice, bro. It's an arm. Oh, <gasps> that's good. Arm. I will happily take that one. My God. This guy had another jug. LAR. Someone needs to come grab this guy's jug and stuff. I'll grab it. Yeah, yeah, some cover. Okay, should I risk it? Yeah, do it, bro. I can cover you. Well. To what extent, I don't really know. Okay, cover me, boys. Oh my god. I'm off. Our luck had finally turned around. And day three was finally back on track. And it was about to get a whole lot better. Because as I left in the helicopter, Tommy and Edwin were about to find a gold mine. 
with a C4 and a helicopter, maybe doing a raid would in fact be possible. So I took the helicopter to Trader with the intention to try and sell it for another C4, in order to raid our neighbours from earlier. But that didn't really go to plan. I've touched down. Can I like a fall of 11? The Eagle has landed. Yeah, I know. In fact, the best offer for the helicopter was kind of insulting. Oh hell nah. <laughs> I need like a hundred K at least man. My man tried to buy a helicopter for 4k. 4k! And with no other offers, we had to opt for plan B. Which was to use the helicopter to try and find bases which were a 1c4 raid. Go check that shed, see what they got. Tell me what storage they got, alright? Yeah, just let me know what stories they got in there. It's also worth noting that when we came and scouted this base, there was an airdrop coming in nearby. Shit, there's another heli here. Alright, well, oh, there's three helis here now, including me. Oh god. Oh my god, that Blackhawk just took so many shots. What the hell is going on? I don't know what these two helis are doing. Oh! The, 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 the Huey just got RPG'd! The heli just crashed out! It just no got way. RPG'd out of the sky! After witnessing something insane, <laughs> we didn't want to end up in the same fate. So we continued scouting bases to see if there was one that was viable. Oh, there is a little base down there on our left, look. But that could be... That could be two bases. Or two doors. Uh, oh man. Got any storage? No. No? Alright, I'll pick up. And after having no luck, we decided to fly home. And it was here that our neighbours would make their biggest mistake yet. I think they find a way of hiding our helicopter. I really wish we could land it on our tree, but I don't think we can, can we? Oh, oh get a shot at, got a shot at. Yep, from the right. I'm hit. It's gonna be our neighbor. I say land like half a kilometer away. Let's flank them from the. If we run right right now. No, left, I mean. It had to be our neighbor. Who else could it be? Who would be here at that split moment? This was a bit of a wild guess at the time, but we felt it could only be them as they were the only base close by. So we decided to camp outside their base to see if we could hear them inside, and well, got a little more than we bargained for. Car coming, Lewis, car coming. Yeah, they're pulling up, pulling up, pulling up. Should we wait? Yeah, yeah. Until they open the door? Please don't see me. He's locking the car. One's in the base. Other guy coming? What? They're in, dude. Hi. Oh, another guy out. Another guy out. Where? He's dead. He's dead. Nice. He's dead. He's dead. I'm covering the door. I'm covering the door. I need a bandage. Well, this was a little embarrassing. The biggest whiff of my Daisy career had just occurred, and we were just about to find out exactly who this was. Uh, I am Lil Say. I told you to remember their names, and this is why. But this was just our first <sighs> mistake. Wait, I got a car key on me. No way. No way, dude, no way. It is their car key. In here? No, but I'm gonna hold the door admin, okay? I'm 
go park it off the road. I decided to drive their car away in order to bait them out. If we could make them open a door, then there was a chance we could raid them. If it was a two door raid, we just needed to get by one. And with them being so close to our base, all we had to do was run down the hill and grab the C4 before they made it back. And that way, we could get inside their base. They just had to make the silly mistake of opening one of their doors again. Roof. Roof, roof, roof. Dead, dead, dead. Oh my god, I'm getting the C4, I'm getting the C4. They've left the roof hatch open. Are they on the roof right now? Is this their body on the roof? Yes, full dead on the roof. It was now a race against time. I needed to get in our base, grab the C4, and then I could use their car to boost on the roof and use their hatch to get inside. Come on, game! Yes! Yes, bro. I'm in, I'm in. I'm placing the C4. I can't do anything, bro. You're on your own in there. Okay, here we go. Arm breaching charge. It's set. Okay, I'm gonna come outside now. It's getting faster, okay? I just need to make sure they don't close this flipping roof. Get out of there, otherwise! <laughs> okay, yeah. Oh my god! I did not expect it to blow that quick. That scared me. <gasps> there's loot. Oh my god, there's actually loot. They didn't leave the shed open, no. Okay, what's in here? To be honest, there wasn't too much in this bit of the base. I guess they had it all inside that locked shed, and unfortunately, we didn't have enough to raid it. So we left some traps inside the base before grabbing all the loot we could, and then taking it back to our base. It was somewhat of a raid, but I'll leave it up to you guys to decide if it was a successful one. In the meantime, I grabbed the helicopter and took it back to our base, this time not getting sniped by our neighbours. Right there. Oh, it's so good. Look at that, right outside the sniper hideout. And with our checklist now fully complete, I guess it was time to say goodbye to the server. But how do we end this thing? Well, the Barret. Well, at least that was the plan because it didn't end too well. Um, well, that's it boys. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to download Raid using my link in the description or use the QR code to get some insane bonuses. I'll see you all in the next one.